The VacuSplint mattress comes in a specially configured carry case. The mattress and the manual pump should always be stored in the carry case to reduce the potential for getting soiled or damaged. They should not be stored in compartments exposed to extreme heat or cold and should never be placed next to a muffler or exhaust system in a vehicle. To properly maintain your EvacuSplint mattress, establish a preventive maintenance program that meets the needs of your particular service area. Daily inspection should include looking for anything that would affect the integrity of performance of the EvacuSplint mattress. Things like tears, broken parts, loose hose clamps, inoperable valves, etc. Check the mattress initially for leaks and after each use. If damage is found or if maintenance is required, take the EvacuSplint mattress out of service until such time that it can be properly repaired or replaced. The EvacuSplint Adult Mattress is a durable immobilization device that will last for many years when properly maintained. Clean and disinfect the EvacuSplint according to your medical director's guidelines. The mattress and patient restraint strap are easily cleaned using soap and water or a mild detergent or a commercial cleaner or disinfectant. Always place the red leashed cap on the end of the maxi valve before cleaning the mattress. Sodium hypochlorite, that is bleach, may be used, but avoid prolonged exposure of the fabric to high concentrations of bleach because discoloration is possible. Bleach solution will not harm the material, but always rinse the mattress off thoroughly after cleaning. Allow the mattress to air dry or towel dry before placing the EvacuSplint mattress in its storage and carry case. The plastic pump does not require any maintenance. Contact your authorized dealer should you need a replacement. The all aluminum pump is virtually maintenance free. Perform general exterior cleaning as needed. Once a year, check the internal O-ring. If the O-ring needs lubrication, use a clear or white grease lubricant. A 1-inch spanner wrench will be needed to remove the top cap of the pump to inspect the O-ring. Care should be taken when threading the cap back onto the pump to prevent cross-threading of the cap threads. 